Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. That shit gonna pop up. They had a a, a, a journalist named Victoria Law. And he did the same shit with the witness that was on my case, telling them what to say. You know, they even got this nigga a lawyer and everything. Like, look, we're going to get you a paid lawyer, you know, if you agree to testify against him because we want this nigga off the streets, you hear me? We're going to tell you what to say. We're going to tell you how to act in court, all that. Just make sure you show up. I'm talking about this nigga miss court and everything. You miss court, that's an automatic attempted court. And they walked that boy back across the street. Then what we going to do, we're going to get you a subpoena, make sure you come to court. We need you to testify tomorrow. We're gonna get you a lawyer right now. And they wind up putting Robert Jenkins on that boy case, and that boy came in that bitch and testified. Yeah. Against you. Against me. Everything the people were saying, and me, I'm just sitting there like, damn, like, you know, I I never been on trial for no murder, and them bitches telling me I'm facing never going home. Yeah. Okay. So at the time, I'm like 18, 19, something like that. And I'm just like, damn, dog, like, this shit really real. I'm really on trial for a body, you hear me? Like, dog, when that verdict came back, I'm talking about, dog, my fucking heart dropped, you hear me? Mm -hmm. My lawyer was like, bro, whatever you do, just don't react, because it's going to be the same judge you got to come see on the pill. And I was like, dog, you just told me I'm about to get life. Nigga, how the fuck you want me to react? I don't give a fuck about no judge, nigga. Mm -hmm. But I kept my cool, though, you hear me? Until we got in the back and man and lawyer, you know. So they, so they, they gave you life. Man, them bitches gave me life without parole, man. Boom. They gave you, they gave you, they gave you life, and then you know what I'm saying. They gave you life, and then you, you appealed it later. Right. So the judge slammed the thing. Boom, life. How, how, how were you able not to react to that? Cause it didn't feel real, you hear me? Like, I wait, it, it took them people three years after I went to trial to give me a life sentence. So I was, that's why I was stuck in that parish all them years, you hear me? So I'm just sitting there, bitch, why don't you told me, stand up, you know, I am compelled to sentence you to life without parole, and I'm just listening like, damn, this shit don't feel real, dog. He, he playing with me. So how did they convict you? Like, cause I know the, I know they got the the ten two law thing. Yeah, I, I wasn't under that dude. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know I gave my time back before they went to fucking with that. You okay, know? okay. So I was say I know they had to have a, a, a certain amount of jurors to say. Yeah. That, you know what I'm saying? So boom. All right. Cool. Cool. Damn. So and and GD was telling me about your story. He's like, bro, my guy was down, and they tried to throw a murder on him. He was in locked up. Why they not? How they? I was in jail two years. Yeah. That was in 2011. And um, I wound up calling home. And my sister was on the phone crying. She like, bro, I can't wait for you to come home. I'm like, man, today, look, look, chill, man. I'm coming home, man. Just, she like, because them people trying to fuck over you. And how many charges you got? So I went to name in my charge. She like, man, you on a whole nother murder. I'm like, no, man. That probably be a detainee that you looking at for a DNA swap. She like, no. So when I went to school, I pulled this shit up. And them bitches was like saying, yeah, somebody got killed, you know, in a certain area that I wasn't even around. I was in jail when it happened. And them bitches wound up, they, they charged me with this shit, you hear me? So once they charged me with it, we went through the motions, got the shit dismissed. You know, the my booking sheet was showing, a, like they said, a murder happened in July 2011. I was in jail in September 10, you hear me? So I'm like, man, ain't no way that I fuck with that, you hear me? Even the judge was like, it's no way. I know this nigga. Every time he come in this bitch, he, you know, he got an attitude and all that. Cause I'm feeling like, nigga, you fucking over me, you hear me? So you questioning me when I'm answering you, talking about talk to you, like, man, nigga, fuck you, I ain't a lawyer. I'm talking to you. You talking to me, so I'm answering you, you hear me? So after that, you know, we went through the motions and they wind up dismissing that shit, but all that shit was. Bought up in trial, talking about my charges I was charged with. I'm talking about I was on the phone rapping for G the man of BTY Young and they played that shit in trial. What? Yeah, fucking right, man. The people used that shit on me saying, you know, that's my persona, rapping about killing and jacking and I'm on I'm on trial for murder and you know the murder was robbery and all this and that crazy shit. So I just ain't seen and I just I'm just looking at this nigga like dog. If I was a bitch ass nigga, you'd be sitting at this fucking table with me. So what I'ma do is 
I don't know how to talk to the people, you hear me? When the people come around, I shut down. So all I did was just sit there, took my lick, like, man, I got to find, find a way to get out this bitch, you hear me? Stay silent. Yeah, and once I get out, ain't no fucking with no niggas, you hear me? Yeah. That's how I was. 